welcome and welcome back to my glamorous channel and for today's video i'm going to give you guys a guide on how to prepare for the red skin to winter update before we get started with today's video if you guys are new here please consider subscribing to my channel to reach our goal of 9,000 subscribers and also that yeah, make sure to hit the post notification button on so you don't miss the video for me and let's just get started with today's video so my first tip is to basically take advantage of this Halloween update while it is out and to farm ghost plants. So as you guys can see, I am AFK farming ghost plants and I'm trying to get as much as possible because ghost plants are actually worth more than wisteria and when you convert them, you will get tons and tons of wisteria. I get a lot of comments about how do I have so much wisteria in the game and I don't even farm like that. And that is because of last year's Halloween update, which is basically the same update from this year. But last year during the Halloween update, I farmed and I had like 400k um, ghost plants or something like that. And then when I converted it, I had 2.5 million wisteria when I converted my ghost plants to wisteria. So this is why it's very, very crucial that even if you do have everything from the shop, Please try to farm some ghost plants and farm as many as you can. That way when you convert them, you will have a lot and you will have to farm for any future updates. My next tip is to get all the fall slash Halloween items before the new update. That is because if you don't get everything now, you're not going to be able to get it until next year and then you're going to be stressed and then you're going to be giving up. You're like, well, I missed the whole update, so there's no point in me, you know, trying to try for this update. When in reality, it honestly doesn't really matter because they bring out the same stuff every year. You just won't have it. And there's no trading in this game, so you just won't be able to dress up for like Halloween themed stuff. My next tip is to set an amount for how much you want to farm or how much you think you would need to farm. So basically, while you're farming, you always want to know either how long you're going to farm for or how much you're going to farm. For me, I always want to know, okay, I'm going to stop it. Like, let's say I'm at 50K, I might stop until I get to 100K or like 75 or something like that. Really not even that helpful when I use a timer, but it depends on each person really. So do what's best for you, but just make sure that you know exactly what you're trying to do. Because if you just go and try to farm blind, you're not going to get anything done. Like, you're literally just going to farm and then not know how much you're going to farm or how long you're going to farm and it's not going to be motivating and you're just going to stop and you're really not going to get a lot of farming done my next tip is to know what to expect for the update so this basically goes for like follow some um rest kingdom 2 youtubers that you know post about um the update or go on twitter if you're old enough and they also have a youtube channel right now so um go if you have twitter just follow their youtube channel and it basically like tells you about the trailer of the um updates they basically have that trailer out for the winter update out now so if y'all want to check it out i recommend it because it will prepare you and by me being you know posting stuff about Raiders kingdom 2 it prepares me so i know exactly what i'm farming for so let's say if it's a halo coming out I know I'm gonna need to farm a little extra for the Halo, not just the shop. I always want to farm around 200k because all their stuff, like the whole shop, be around like 200k. So I always want to farm around that much, plus a little bit more, just in case if it's a new Halo and I might need to spend some stuff on that Halo, or just in case they bring some new sets in. So you always want to know what they're gonna bring in because let's say they bring a cafe, you want to try all the snacks. How are you gonna try all the snacks if you don't have any money? And my last and final tip is oh same thing <laughs> um do your research so you basically want to do your research on the game and the update that is coming out you might want to check out the previous update like the previous winter update so that way you know what to expect i don't know if the winter update like you had to pay for the halo correct me if i'm wrong but i don't remember that i do remember that um it was one of the updates where you did have to um use or like a telescope i think it was the fall update actually where they used the telescope to find the halo or something like that and it did cost like five thousand and ten thousand um wisteria so um, yeah do your research on the updates that way you know what you're coming in for because if you be like okay i'm just gonna get the shop and it's more stuff coming in you're yeah you're gonna be pretty mad like let's say for example you're, you just front for the shop and you just farm just the 200k and you forgot about the halo or it might have been some mini games you gotta play or just anything and it costs wisteria 
or Pacinius. That's the winter currency. I didn't say Pacinius this whole um, video, by the way. But Pacinius is the winter currency. That's why I'm telling you guys to farm Wisteria because you can't farm Pacinius right now or ghost plants. But if you farm ghost plants, you get more Wisteria and you convert those to Pacinius. But, and I think um, Wisteria is worth more than Pacinius. So, if you convert your Wisteria, you will get more Pacinius. But yeah, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, don't forget to do this like and subscribe to my channel. If you're new to any of my we're about to 9,000 subscribers. You guys are not subscribed to my channel. Please do this like and subscribe to my channel with the post that we just put it on. So this video for me and what's currently stay glamorous. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.